All right, guys, now what we're gonna do is start our series of escapes. This is very important, so we're gonna have a couple videos on this explaining our entire philosophy of escapes. Now, we talked about striking combinations. What people don't think about is combinations are essential for defense too, all right, especially in jiu-jitsu. If you do one move, most likely he'll counter you. Now, first thing is, Chad has got me in side control. You're gonna bridge, just like the moves we did before in the drills, bridge, hip escape, slide your knee under, come to guard, all right? One more time. Bridge, hip escape, slide your knee under, come to guard. Okay, notice what I did, guys. First, the fundamentals. Okay, do not do this. Bridge, hip escape, come to guard here. What happened? Chad is postured and he's gonna punch me in the face. All right, so that didn't really protect me. The guard is only effective if you control his posture. Bridge, hip escape. Start pulling him in from here. Boom, now Chad, attack. Nothing, nothing. Okay, there, now I can start working my attacks. Okay, that's escape number one. Now, escape number two, I'm gonna put them together. Escape number two is the same thing, but I'm gonna use my arm when I bridge. So, Chad has me here. This was number one in this position. Two, here. Hip escape, same thing, I use that to come in. Okay, one more time. Okay, escape number two. Boom, I tried one, I got my wizard, I tried two again. I pull him in, one and two. So they look like this together. I try one, it's not working, he's driving. I try one, I get my underhook, I try two. And I come here. Side control escape one and two together. Next, we're gonna continue with escape three, four, and five.